Hi all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and in this video we're going to be doing a firmware update on the Creality CR2020. So first thing we need to do is we need to head over to Creality and download the uh, source code. So on your computers you want to go to creality.com then you want to go into the download section and you want source code and then you're going to need to go to the second page and you're going to need to find the upgrade CR2020 source code and you're going to want to download that file. Okay, so once it's downloaded and saved, which it is, you're going to want to go into obviously your downloads. And we can see right here we've got a RAR file. So, I mean, if you haven't got this program, you're going to need to install 7-Zip because there actually, isn't actually any programs on Windows that comes with it that will actually open it. So just go and do a little quick Google search for 7-Zip and install that. Once you've got that installed, you can then extract the files. Okay, and then we're, there we have the files for the CR2020, and this is the file that we need here is the hex file. So what we're going to have to do next is connect our printer up to the computer and then I'll go through the next lot of steps of showing you how to upgrade your firmware. I will just add that 7-Zip is actually a free program. Which is here, 7, 7-Zip.org and obviously then you can then download it if you're using a Windows machine. You can just download it if you've got a 64-bit machine or 32-bit machine. Just download and install it. Like I say, free program to use, so you're perfectly safe to install it. So yeah, get that installed and extract your files that way, guys. All right, guys, so this is the CR2020. We were going to update the firmware on. This has got some very old firmware on it. It hasn't even got a print resume function, so if you lose the power, you lose your prints. Now obviously I can't update the firmware at the moment because I'm actually printing but this is near enough finished so obviously once this is finished I'll run you through the process of doing the update. But all you're going to need obviously is your supplied lead that came with the printer. I had to go out and buy an extension cable for the USB because I mean look <laughs> I ain't going to reach my computer so you might need to get one of those guys. Just a two meter extension cable is quite handy because that'll reach most of my machines. So yeah, you might need to get one of those unless your computer or your laptop, unless you've got a laptop of course. So yeah, all we'd need to do, basically all this is is a printer, printer cable. So you would just plug it into the port on the side of the printer and the other end into the computer. Then hopefully your computer should then install the necessary drivers to get you started. So obviously once you've done that, I'll then show you the next part on the actual computer. So yeah, I'll come back once this is finished printing and we'll run through it all. I'll just give you another quick little look at my printers. CR10S is going well. End of 5 Plus is printing a Moon City. Saw that on Pinterest, so I thought we'd give it a go. Got a set of LED lights down here to install on this machine. Just done a bit of a PC upgrade. My little computer that I was using, well, it was kind of next to useless. Can't actually see in there because of the lights, but I've just built myself a bit of a bit of a better PC. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. V2 chugging away silently. I am going to be installing a BL Touch kit into this once it's finished printing. And obviously my resin printer slowly starting to get the hang of this thing. Jesus, it's a massive chore, but you can see in there, slowly starting to print. So yeah, slowly getting there with many failed prints. So it's just a matter of getting that bed level. And once that bed is then level, it's been working just fine. So anyway, guys, I will be back shortly once this print is finished. Right guys, so the print is finished. So, what we need to do now is plug the printer in. And 
and then other end into your computer right and the next lot of stuff is going to be done on the computer so I'll be with you in a minute forgot to mention turn your printer off first before you do this it will obviously come on because it's drawing power through the USB cable but obviously have the printer turned off before you do this all right guys now I've had a bit of a malfunction and I managed to lose the file of me actually updating the printer <laughs> oh my days anyway I'll just show you how to do it it's, it's, it's very very simple so you've seen the previous part of this video plug your printer into your computer you'll hear the computer recognize the printer that'll then install the drivers for you then all you'll need to do is open up Cura this can be done through Cura it's quite simple to do it's just literally having to click a few buttons simple it's as simple as the CR2020 has a bootloader installed so you haven't got to actually open your machine up and plug a separate board in and, and faff up and mess about because that is just that's just a nightmare so open up Cura preferences configure Cura into printers now you'll probably see I haven't got the CR2020 in here I don't actually use Cura for slicing the files for the 2020 I, I use Creality's own software but that's just me but anyway all you need to do is highlight the CR2020 click activate and then you go update firmware and obviously it's grayed out on here because I haven't got the printer plugged in but obviously on your end after you've done all this it won't be grayed out you can click upload custom firmware you'll then ask you to search for the file so obviously you'll go into your download folder open up that file that we downloaded earlier on click on the hex file click open and then that's it a little bar will come up with a percentage and that will install in a matter of seconds once it's finished unplug the lead from your computer and then fire your printer back up jobs are good mate. that's it that's that simple I have already done it and tried it it does work I now can turn the power off turn it back on I've got the resume print function is now working on my machine so yeah guys it is worth doing because like I say if you lose your power then you're gonna lose your print but like I say we've updated the update to this latest software you've now got the resume print function will be working so I hope you found this a little bit of use um, I do these things so you guys can just follow me and it makes life a bit easier for you and if I mess it up then you lot haven't lost nothing but like I say I didn't make any mistakes just follow this and it'll work it's nice and simple anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all in the next one cheerio